Alright, so I often get asked, who is your favorite unit in Dragon Ball Legends? And I'm just going to be straight up, it's Ultra Vegito Blue. Ultra Vegito Blue was everything I wanted in the game. I wanted him to be the best character in the game. He's not anymore, but he was. I wanted him to be extremely OP. He has amazing animations. They went overboard with the reveals. The best reveals we've ever had. Maybe not in your opinion, but in terms of how much effort they put into it, it clears every single reveal that they've ever produced for this game. And they gave him a new mechanic. That little tap thing is beautiful, man. I love the way it works. It's not that much of a special gimmick, but the aesthetic of it reminds me of playing old games on like the PS2 where you'd have to button bash to really get the upper hand in battle. I really like that. But in this video, we're also going to be talking about, in my case, my most used units, not just favorite, but most used units. In most cases, the units that I favor, I'd actually use the most. But in some cases, it's not going to be like that because there are units in the game that are very valuable that you might not specifically like, but have to use because of the way the meta actually goes especially being a 39 god rank player oh brother this guy stinks i don't go for god rank anymore ever since pvp messed up in the fifth anniversary but i am a 39 times god rank player i know i need to touch the grass so i have a large variety of units that i would use and i think i'm gonna try get to a count of 10 so number one in this list, I have to go with LL Vegito Blue. I've used him so much and the fact that he's zenkai as well, it's given me two moments in time where I could just use him. His legendary finish is one of my personal favorites in the game, but on top of that, he was the second anniversary headliner. So by default, he's definitely going to be one of the most OP in the game. At that time, he was so game breaking. They had to change the in-game mechanics to make sure that he isn't so overpowered and that should just speak for itself. And he owns one of the most toxic metas we've ever had in Dragon Ball Legends history. Number two in this list i'm gonna put ultra vegeto blue i feel like i've just used them non-stop ever since his release i'm not gonna say he's necessarily more than anybody else on this list because he is quite new but i have used them a bunch like a stupid amount ever since his release just playing him every single game is literally autopilot autopilot at a dumb level i already spoke about his reveal at the start of this video so i'm not gonna glaze anymore but ultra vegeto blue is definitely going on this list number three i've got gogeta blue the lf gogeta blue with his green card there's so many times that i just go back to using him just to test out his green card it's dumb it's actually dumb every time you land his green card he locks you in and when you get locked in <laughs> just say goodbye if he has two cards and an ult you're done in most cases you're done like, unless your gogeta blue is built to nothing that gogeta is going to end you with just a green card and it's a beautiful sight every single time Number four, you might not expect it, but it's MUI Goku. MUI Goku on release, I 14 starred him. He was beautiful, man. Of course, he got leaked beforehand, so the hype around him really just disappeared. But if we're really going into how he looks, it's everything I could have asked for with MUI. Even the auto back he win. It just makes it so stupid to play with him. This is autopilot on the highest degree. All you literally have to do is stand still and avoid blue cards and green cards and you'll be fine. Even emitting damage when you dodge stuff, that is a big, big help in making sure that your opponent loses composure and giving you the upper hand just that tiny bit more every single time. I'm at four at the moment, yeah, and there's going to be a lot of fusion warriors on this list. The glazing is real, I cannot lie. Oh my God, bro, is dick riding all you do? No, I'm saying uh, you literally got that nigga dick in your mouth right now. I see it. Number five, I've got Ultra Super Vegito. Just another fusion warrior for the same reasons as the others. When he released in the fourth anniversary for the third part, I just had to keep using him. Even while Kula was there, I had to keep using him. I had to show that he could be amazing. His counter isn't that effective, but I wanted to actually show how useful his cover nullification could be because a lot of people feel like it's very useless because it's not a lot of time accounts because you have to get a priority in a short amount of time between getting the counter because it doesn't chain but if you're very efficient you can still make it work and that's what i like to do so i was using him as well and he has endurance and his build up of sustained damage against the enemy really just helps you do a lot of damage with whoever you're using number six i've got ultra gogeta blue i don't think i've added him to this list but when he released as well i was actually just exploiting him <laughs> at a disgusting rate 14 starred him and of course that mudadana the green it's not even the green card with this guy it's a regular counter with the gauge when that happens every single time free blue card you're gonna do a lot of damage and and the fact that you can barely take him out on his release at least it's very hard to take him out because of the way his gauge works it's like he's refunding his health when his gauge fills it just makes it very very easy to capitalize on doing damage every single time and don't let me get started on the fact that when he gets to about 40 time account he just becomes the ultimate menace on the battlefield he's disgusting man number seven we got ultra super gogeta oh my god ultra super gogeta i've used this guy so much i was using him for a year straight like a year straight i'm talking three six five days every single game not every for 
for sure but i'd say about 80 percent of the games for a year straight i was just using him bro his blue card damage is absurd two ultimates the lock-in when one person dies <laughs> It's stupid, bro. Green card, you can't cover change him. Rapid combos, key at high rate. I miss him, man. I miss him, man. Ultra Super Gogeta needs some buff, man. He is so good. Shout out to him, man. I really enjoyed using him. That's why he's rinsed. All right, cool. I think we've got two more spaces, and I'm going to mention two people you might have not expected, but they definitely deserve a place on this list. So next up, we got Bardock. If I'm just looking back at the history of how long Bardock has been useful in the game, he deserves a spot on this list, man. Every time a Super Saiyan drop, I'd be so quick to get Bardock out, even just to attempt using him so that the Super Saiyan could actually be effective. And if you look at every Super Saiyan that's released in the game, that's every time Bardock has been brought out for at least, at least between 100 and 300 games just straight up using Bardock so many times and even between that like sometimes where there was just Super Saiyan meta for a long time back in the day Bardock was always ready to go shout out Bardock man they did really nerf him with some units that can just like lower critical rate and damage but Bardock still gets the work done if you want to get that tiny extra buff the last person I'm going to mention on this list is Vados Vados was just a menace in terms of support whatever team at a certain point when she released for like a long period of time maybe like a year stretching over to two years anytime a team will drop and it relates to god key vados comes out she is ready to put in work every single time people don't use her as much now because she's super glass but she used to really be the stopper of generation she's basically an old gen version of pan and that speaks volumes because you guys know how useful pan is she's the real og if they zenkai pan god key goes to the moon they're possibly the best team in the game off rip just to mention some honorable mentions i feel like i should just do it in case but three i'm gonna mention off rip beast gohan for sure beast gohan meta lasted so long and he was just so reliable he played so many games on my account it's dumb number two first anniversary ll super vegeto he also had the opportunity to zenkai so there was two periods in times where i'm really just using him i use him as my support unit on fusion warriors and that allows me to do a lot of damage so shout out to him man he is a very 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 good unit he was a very good unit on his release and his zenkai really just made him usable i'm not gonna say he was like insane but he was actually great for sure and number three i think i gotta give it to super saiyan 2 gohan fsk you know i used to use him a lot back in the day he was like a one-shot merchant with his blast cards if he's last stand two at max blue card guaranteed kill and the ultimate don't even need to say anything about that easy 3v1 unit back in the day very very useful i just pff, reminiscing on the times i used to use him give him like a awakened plat or second awakened plat i think he already has one so i don't even know he, i think he's just done <laughs> he's done man but yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy this video just a little like i guess my favorite top 10 list if anybody was curious but of course you guys probably have some lists that you can make mentioning units that you enjoyed using throughout your time playing dragon ball legends i've been playing since the start so i have to have a list of some sort but yeah i'm gonna leave the video like that i appreciate you guys for watching press the subscribe button we're on this grind to 75,000 subscribers my name is akashi guys and i'll see you guys in the next one man